Hello, I'm Lisa Griffith, and this is the second part of our Egg with Shadow video. This is where we're going to deal with the cast shadows. Um, we're going to start with the charcoal today. It's the stuff that bleeds all over your hands that you used for your um, your 10 cube, your 10, 10 square gradation study, and your, over here, your 10 square gradation study, and your bar study, which is going to relate to our eggs. And this is how our, our egg is over here today. I dropped it down on top of my dresser. Um, the light source is the, I tried to do exactly the same. And so we have our egg and drawn in our cast shadow the same. What we're going to do is relate our shadows to our gradation study. So do you see in your cast shadow a one or two, a very, very black? Do you see the light tones, the 10 or the 8s in your egg, in your, your cast shadows? And that's where you bring them over to here. Wherever you see the really darks, you start to suggest where those really darks are. And you can, if you need to, literally, I, and I do this myself very lightly, I put my 1 because that is my darkest dark. Out here, I think I'm like 3 or 4. So I will say basically up here towards the egg, it's a 3. Down here, out here, it's a four. Over here, it's so light that it's more like an eight or a nine. So we'll just, we'll just very, I can actually write that with my fingertip. All right. So basically, what you're going to do, use your charcoal. I'm also using a my kneaded eraser, um, paper towel, and Kleenexes for helping me buff so I get my nice smooth surface, like we did in our gradation studies. I'm going to go in, use the edge of my charcoal, the hard edge of it and drag it in find the contour edge of my egg where it's absolutely the darkest it's the darkest cast black shadow it's got nice dark right there and i'm going to bring that in and i'm just going to really very lightly bring it in again you can work up you can work down whatever feels comfortable for you if you work up stuff's going to fall down if you work down you're going to get a nice pile of charcoal which works great because you can use that to your advantage and so then get in there rub it around make it behave the way you want it to you got to control the charcoal i'm going to go in and get a recast my edge or refine my edge of my egg right here and then there's my darkest dark my absolute blackest black now I'm going to go in and try to find the three or the four here. And I think it is darker. I think it's a little lighter right here. So it's about a three here. Then it becomes more of a four over here. And I'm getting some wall texture, which is going to happen. I have a couple of sheets of paper, but you'll notice if you work on cardboard, you'll get some cardboard texture. And that's okay. Use what it, if it works for you, go for it. If you don't like it, put some more paper down. To start dragging that in. Uh, what I'm doing also, too, is I'm working flat. I'm pushing flat down or flat under. Try not to go around the egg, but come into the egg and stop right at the edge of the egg. This helps create a flattened shadow. When we get to the actual egg, we're actually going to follow the contour of the roundness of the egg, which will be the opposite of what we're doing now. Okay. This is, on this side, I have some kind of thrown light. It kind of comes around the egg and gets a little lighter right here and a little darker right here. So I'm trying to be as sensitive as I can to get to all these subtle tones. And because it's a video, I'm trying to work quickly. If I were drawing at home, I don't have to work quite so quickly. But I don't want to keep you too long. I used my hand. I like using my hands in a drawing. Some people do not. That's where this comes in. You can use this to shadow if you really don't like getting too, too mucky dirty with the charcoal.
And I need to fix this because I don't like this. So I'm going to go back in and modify that. Now that's not bad. We've got the basic layout of our cast shadow. I mean, I really could work on this a little more. I'm not absolutely happy. I'm picking up a lot of wall texture, but that's okay. Now, using the blocks, we did the cast shadow. Now we're going to go back to the gradation study, um, this one, to get the roundness of the egg. And here, um, we're going to, instead of dragging the charcoal right onto the paper because it's going to make harsh lines, we're going to use the dirt of our hands and the dirt of our paper towel. And we're actually, we have a nice cast shadow that kind of comes in right across here. Now, what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to shade the way we want the viewer to see the egg. So we want the egg to appear round. So we're going to shade going round instead of flat like we did here. And we're going to actually just try to get a little bit of tone on the overall egg, pushing into that contour line, and if we blur it, that's okay, because we're going to go back and fix that. And we're going to lightly start to keep going, try to build a little bit of surface. Now, right here, we have where it's really dark. We have some dark here, we have light here, and we have dark here again. So we're just going to try putting it right on our paper. And pulling it over like this. Oh, oh, I'm losing my paper. Alright. And notice how this is much lighter. And it's not as harsh or as strong because you're gently applying the charcoal. It's also very easy to remove this way because you're not pushing so much dark charcoal into the egg itself. And I want to keep going down here. It's a little slower, this process, but it's actually a nice process because it gives you a kind of a nice, hopefully a nice glow to your egg when we're done. I'm going to grab some dark down here. I need a little bit of dark. And up here, I'm still not happy with, absolutely happy with that. So I want to step. The one thing you want to do when you're drawing, whether you're up or you're down, stand up over it. If you're looking at it um, down below, stand up and look at it and see if you're getting what you want. And um, if you're drawing on the wall, just step back. Okay. Okay. Now I'm pretty happy with that. I want to buff some of this out of here and get back to a lighter surface, but I want to add a little more charcoal into this part of the egg. So I'm going to use my hand like this because I like to use my hands. That's how I've always drawn. I had a professor by the name of Lionel Gungara at UMass, and he used to hand me paper towels and Kleenexes and tell me that's how I should be drawing. So, and I always, when he wasn't looking, I always drew it with my hand. I like the marks that the hand makes. Okay, I'm starting to lose my paper. But I'm pretty happy with that. We should do a little more, but you have more time than I do. So please take all the time you need to get it to be just like what you want. So what I want to do now is I, I want um, to look at my edges of forms. I want to make sure that I don't have a cast shadow, a line, and a cast shadow, but that I have shading that comes to a stop and then hits very abruptly the dark so that it kind of slides under. So I want to look at edges like this. 
I want to go back and decide what's happening here. I'm using my um, kneaded eraser and to remove charcoal, and I want to just gently kind of let these two meet each other. And I want to go up to this contour line that we originally had and control it and clean it up. And I want to erase into it. I want to erase into the edge of that shadow. I want that shadow to be nice and just stop right there. And then I want this contour line to become just part of the egg itself. And I want just the the egg to stop and become the form on the paper. And now again, not a line. I'm letting go of the line. You started with line, but as we go into the drawing, I want to let go of the line. Up here is my brightest bright. So I really want to kind of let go of that line. And I actually want to shake, uh, erase down and pull some of that charcoal off. Kind of edge it there. And then just with my buffer, just smooth that out. And I just want to look at, I'm kind of like crafting all of my corners, all of my edges at this point. It's the best way. And then cleaning it all up, deciding if you like an edge. I don't care for that edge, so I'm going to make it better right now. I'm going to darken it. And I'm going to allow it to shade. And I'm just going to, this is why I had to do the, the gradation study. So you start to get a hold of how charcoal smudges. Sometimes just smudging it and stepping back and going, oh, that works, is all you need to do. Okay. And I want to make sure here that my dark light connection is nice, but nice and crisp. It needs to be crisp. The crisper it is, the more three-dimensionality you will get in your drawing. So I'm going to push that dark down, smooth it out. Then I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to erase in. And I'm just going to lift some of that up because there's a little bit of cast light, not a lot, but a little bit more on this side where the light source seems stronger because of the window. And then I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to step back and I think, besides for a few fingerprints, I'm pretty happy with that fast egg study. And yes, so that is how to shade with the charcoal and the erasers and the buffing cloths off of your gradation studies. I hope this helps. Email me at lgriffithberkshirecc.edu if you have any questions and send me your images when you're completed. Thank you.